I feel I should issue a word of warning here. The man you are about to witness, Kyle Kalinske, is perhaps the most punchable atheist moron this side of Cult of Dusty. Should you choose to continue to watch this video, I cannot be held responsible for any violence you inflict on the electronic device you're using to watch this. So with that out of the way, take it away, Kyle. Prominent scientist and academic Richard Dawkins. Oh, come off it. Dawkins isn't the prominent scientist and academic. He's a prominent atheist. He stopped being a research scientist like 40 years ago. Most people would have never even heard of him if it weren't for the fact he was famous for being an atheist. And some academic he is, he believes certain academic disciplines should be eradicated. He pretty much believes that the natural sciences are the only fruitful academic disciplines. I sat down for an interview with the Times. Now, before I continue, let me remind those of you uh, who don't know, he actually had a minor stroke recently, and he's recovering. Naturally, I hope he makes a full recovery, and my thoughts are with him. Uh, the God Delusion, to this day, is one of my favorite books. If you haven't read it yet, you should. Okay, I recommend that. That's probably book number one on the list of books you should read. Oh, what a sad commentary. Of all the great books of civilization, this insipid fast food philosophy is number one. This should tell you what kind of a mind we're dealing with here. You can go from being a wishy-washy agnostic or go from being moderately religious or whatever, and that might snap you out of it like that. So if you haven't read that, check it out. Definitely recommend it. Uh, so, here's what he said in the talk that's causing some controversy. Uh, according to The Independent, quote, <laughs> People are terrified of being thought racist for criticizing Islam. There's an awful confusion in many people's minds. They think Islam is a race, which of course it isn't. If you're seen to criticize Islam, you're often accused of racism, which is absurd. I'm all for offending people's religion. I think it should be offended at every opportunity. Okay, so there are uh, really two points there and two separate issues to discuss. Uh, on one of the issues, I 100% agree with him. And on the other one, I actually think it's a little more nuanced. Can you, the viewer at home, guess which point it is Kyle's in 100% agreement with? So, uh, first let me go to the total agreement. The total agreement is with that last part. He says, I'm all for offending people's religion. I think it should be offended at every opportunity. Yeah. Because religion is just a set of beliefs, a doctrine, holy books. Uh, no, religion is not a set of beliefs. Religion is an entire family of belief systems whose characteristics vary drastically throughout the globe. That are not actually holy. There's no evidence that they're true, there's no evidence that they're real, there's no logical, rational reason to believe it. Again, religion is not a belief system to be believed or disbelieved, but if you're going to assert that there's no reason to believe any religion is true, hey, go ahead and prove it. I mean, that's a mighty burden of proof you've strapped to your back, but hey, go ahead and prove that there's no reason to think any religion is true, and I'll seriously be impressed. So to attack a doctrine is to just attack ideas that are, by their very nature, irrational because it's not based on truth. Uh, no, religion is not by its very nature irrational because that's not an essential part of how it's defined. And if you're going to claim that there's nothing true in any religion, hey, prove it, go ahead and be my guest. It's not based on science or finding the nature of reality, it's just a bunch of idiots who wrote shit on pages. <laughs> You know, going back thousands of years. Yes, the writers of the Bible were idiots because Kyle says so. That's his entire argument. They were the educated men of their day. Some of the writers of the New Testament were steeped in Greek philosophy, but they were idiots just because. That's his argument. Luke the Evangelist was a physician. Sir William Ramsay famously called him an historian of the first rank, but he was an idiot because Kyle says so. That's his argument. Why should anybody take that seriously? Nobody should take that seriously. Sure, pull a completely bullshit made-up definition of religion out of your ass, and then ask why anyone should take that seriously. Good work, bro. Good work. And he's right that you should attack it, and at the very least you should let people know, look, even if you're gonna be religious, just keep everything in perspective, and just know that that's not, like, it's not scientific, it's not proven. There's over 4,000 religions that exist today! Today! 
So even just from a mathematical probability perspective, are you really that special that you happen to be born into the one religion that is true? Ah! Don't you dare! Don't you dare! When all the others are bullshit and wrong. But my mommy and daddy were so special, they happened to be right and then pass on the correct religion to me. You know, not everyone has a religion because they were born into it. Some people are born into one faith, follow their reason, and convert to another. Some people are born to atheist parents, follow their reason, and convert to a faith. Some people are born to atheist parents and grow up to remain to be atheists. Would that in your mind invalidate atheism the same way you think religion is invalidated if people grow up to be the same faith as their parents? Honestly, it is a childish way of thinking. CHILDISH! CHI- Why are you such a revolting pompous moron? And you should be embarrassed if you think like that. So, on that front, he's totally right. Offend religion all day long, and you're just right to do that. Because you're just attacking beliefs and ideas that are not based in reality. And even if people say, hey, I use my religion for good, that's great, that's- Oh, I'm happy for you, but there are reasons to act good other than because it says so in Mother Goose. Ooh, Mother Goose. Sick burn, bro. Or it's in Narnia. Well, Kyle here seems to have taken a page from the Bill Maher school of debate, namely that a smirky face wins every argument. So, that's it, I guess. Kind of a pointless episode, I suppose. And like, share, and subscribe if you feel like it.